Hi Virgo, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Virgo, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever it does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Virgo. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Pentacles in the reverse. And this is Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn Energy. So in the reverse, this does show some sort of um, disharmony. There's a lack of collaboration or you and someone are not on the same page. And there's just a struggle to make something work. Um, there could be just a different approach or you're not seeing eye to eye about something. But there's a difficulty getting something off the ground with this card being in the reverse. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the death card, Scorpio energy. The four of swords in the reverse, air energy. And we have the moon in the reverse, Pisces energy. Okay, so it does look like there's something here that may be nearing an end with the, with the death card here. A, a big change has to take place or something is needing to be let go of. Um, and it does look like there could be um, different feelings towards um, this ending. Almost like one person is ready to let go while another person is not ready to move on. They're not ready to release this. So we're seeing almost like a conflict of interest here. Um, with the Four of Swords, someone is feeling very restless like this is someone who um they there's something about being a part that makes them very uncomfortable they don't like it um and you know they feel like you don't feel the same way you know this is someone who feels like you are about to leave or you you're, you're getting ready to end this connection and they aren't ready to do that you know with the four of swords they are craving closeness um you know with it being in the reverse this is someone who does want to be close and they don't it's almost like they they're having a hard time uh, regulating emotionally on their own like this is someone who wants to have reassurance they want that closeness um, when it comes to this connection because they can kind of sense or they can feel that there might be an ending about to occur they feel it's like they're perceiving some sort of abandonment here and it's um, making them feel restless um, so this person can be become a bit um, clingy or um, overly restless. I'm seeing a lot of communication or just, you know, there's something here about what they're doing that is um, rubbing you the wrong way because it does look like there is this disharmony with the three of pentacles being in the reverse. Um, but it's because this person, their intuition is kind of telling them that an ending is about to occur or they feel like you are getting ready to move away from them. So let's clarify these cards, uh, Virgo. Okay, we have the Ten of Swords, and this is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. So there's this card again of an ending, a breakup. It's a painful one. Someone actually feels betrayed. They feel blindsided or backstabbed. Um, but it's almost like it's even if this person isn't being blindsided, they may still feel that way because of that moon energy. You know, the moon can be like someone who was wearing rose-colored glasses or they were living in an illusion. There's a delusional energy there. And, you know, they, they, they are taking this ending very hard. You know, this is someone who's, they're not ready to let go. Okay, so let's see. We have the Hierophant, Taurus energy, Two of Cups, Water energy, 
and the knight of cups water energy yeah there's still a strong attachment and they may still try you know they're gonna try everything they can to keep this connection um the the knight of cups is a, is an offer a love offer they could be doing some sort of romantic gesture um because this person is still um committed to this um, they do see this connection as having a deeper significance. Like this person could even view you as their soulmate. Um, they view this connection as spiritual and, uh, you know, not something they could just easily walk away from, even if it requires a lot of work, because it does look like there's a lot of work that needs to be, like this isn't an easy connection with the Three of Pentacles being in the reverse. Um, but at the same time, it's not an easy one to let go of. Um, someone here in particular, especially, is not able to just detach or distance themselves in fact they feel the urge to hold on tighter right now because their intuition is telling them that you know this 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 connection is um about to end or this abandonment on the horizon they, they feel this way um and they are acting out you know there's some sort of strategies that they may be um relying on to try to keep the connection because this is someone who feels like you're their person, you know, they feel a lot of love for you. And at some point, you guys could have been very much on the same page, especially emotionally. This person could have felt very understood by you um, and very taken care of by this connection. And this connection could have even brought them closer to their own spirituality. So, yeah, this person is feeling a strong um, energy of need towards you and this connection. There could even be a bit of codependency going on here. Um, but this is someone who is who's really hoping that you don't walk away or leave them behind. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, Virgo. If you have you are good enough full moon in virgo okay so it does look like this this connection could have taken a big toll on your self-worth self-esteem or if th there's this person here who's really holding on to this connection because they could have attached it to their self-worth okay so there is this message here you are good enough okay so i'm going to put another card Have, it is safe for you to love open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all okay so even if you do decide to release this connection or let go there is a message of um being gentle or being compassionate it's safe to do so because this person is um operating from a place of still having feelings for you still loving you okay so i'm gonna put another card for you Virgo. Okay, we have dignity a wise man has has dignity without pride a fool has pride without dignity okay so there's a, a message here of maintaining your self-respect not um giving in because of someone's own desires there's something here about also um advocating for yourself having that self-respect that dignity um because there's something about this connection whereby it's like even if there's love here with the three of pentacles in the reverse, it's like something doesn't work about the connection. Um, there could be a lot of fundamental incompatibilities that are hard to just ignore. Okay, so I'm going to pull out a card for your advice, Virgo. Okay, we have surrender to your soul's path. Your life's journey has been perfectly designed for your soul's growth. 
embrace every lesson and every moment so doing what's best for you um no self-sacrificing energies here there's it's definitely an energy of having to embrace you know your life's path doing what's best for you and you know taking something even as a lesson here you know that does look like there was a purpose for this connection okay so that's what i'm seeing for you virgo i hope you have a really really good day virgo bye virgo